the importance of dealing with adversity and problems that happen in the workplace and knowing what to do with it, you know what I mean? Like, how do you react? That's what makes you a boss or a worker or, you know, if you want to own your own business, you're going to have to deal with different variables. Nothing is ever going to go set the plan smooth as possible. Mistakes always happen. Uh, shit always goes down. Some projects are gonna take longer than expected. So what do you do in the side of adversity? You know what I mean? I was just thinking about it today because we're on a job that I projected would take a day, but then now that I'm thinking about it, it might take a day and a half. So I'm just like, well, should I help out and try to make this a day job? Fuck no, you know what I mean? That's not the answer. The answer is hiring more people and selling more jobs. That's how I make more money. I'm not gonna make more money if I get out there and fucking break my back today and you know, like, I'm already running on a little sleep as is. Gotta go back and take a nap. So, I can't be doing that shit. You shouldn't either, man. You think Donald Trump would get out there and start building shit if uh, his project was behind? Uh, fuck no, man. Bosses don't do that shit, bro. You sit back, meditate, take the next necessary precaution to get this shit done. To get this shit done, baby. It's all it is, man. It's all it is. One step in front of the other. Your next, Make your next step better than your last step. That's all it is, man. That's life. That is fucking life. Keep on pushing. When you got to take a nap, take a nap. I know I certainly want to take a nap right now. I'm going to. I was drink a fucking coffee. But, uh... Yeah, I didn't even want to make this video because I was so tired, but I'm just like, I got to make something for my people, man. It's been a couple days, and somebody probably grab, got to grab something from this, man, so I just had to make this video real quick, but uh, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are weathering the storm of summertime. It's about to be like 97 degrees here this week in Massachusetts, which is insane. We've already had a couple 90 degree days couple weeks ago and that was insane because that's super early for that um but yeah i mean it's been getting hotter here you know which is good for me because these plants are dying which is fucking fantastic um a lot of these plants died because of the peat moss in fit station uh, i guess peat moss comes every 10 years something i don't really know about anything about it which brings up a good point I'm making a lot of money now, and I don't know shit about trees. Like, just to be honest, I I have two guys that know how to take them down, but other than that, I don't know shit about trees. Like, I know very, very little bit about trees in the scheme of things. Like, I couldn't tell you what peat moss is. I couldn't tell you why these insects only come around uh, once every 10 years and eat all the oak trees and fucking maple trees. Like, I couldn't tell you, man. Uh, I think they're like cockroaches or some shit and they like to eat trees which is good for us because there's plenty of dead trees plenty of dead trees to go around up here in Massachusetts which is fantastic um, I posted on Facebook on a tree group that I'm a part of I'm like hey do you guys work during the winter time because I'm over here contemplating um, what our next step is you know what i'm saying as far as when winter comes and people say they work right through the winter up here man which is cool which is cool and i'm gonna be able to afford to buy, uh, buy the guys some winter gear i'm just gonna write that shit off in taxes man because i'm a good ass boss i can't believe i used to work for a company down in south florida called pink and green and they what they do is they sell the uniforms to you and you have to wear them which I think is fucking ridiculous man like and they aren't cheap man they're, they're actually selling selling you their company t-shirts for more than what they're paying which is like that's so evil man that's double dipping like a motherfucker and 
like, so they get to write the, all those off because it's a tax write-off because it's uniforms. Plus, they're charging their employees almost like double of what they're paying for it, which is fucking ridiculous, man. That's like, I'm pretty selfish, but I'm not that selfish. I'll never be that selfish. That's some fucking, like, if you have to support your cocaine habit type selfishness to me. Because I remember they were selling these long sleeves for 25 bucks, and you, you get long sleeves for like $10, $15. Like, it's ridiculous. They should be giving those shits out, you know what I mean? Which I get the concept, like, they didn't like how people were just throwing the t-shirts on the ground. But hey, you're you're running a landscape business, that shit's a tax write-off, you know what I mean? Like, just buy, buy more shit, in my opinion. Because I know I don't charge my guys for our company gear, man. Fuck that, man. They work way too hard. They've made me way too much money. Like, why the f Like, I'd be evil as fuck if I was charging them for that shit, man. This shit ain't that expensive for, for like 16, I think 24, 24 pieces of clothing, it was like 300 bucks. Plus, the t-shirts, which I have, hold on, let me grab one. If you guys want a t-shirt, which, oh shit. Of course, the chainsaw leaked on the t-shirt. That's fucking hilarious. That's great. One of the t-shirts off. Oh, looks like I'll give this one, give this one away. But these are the t-shirts, man. So if you're buying them off YouTube, they're fifteen dollars each. That's free shipping. Uh, fuck. Jeez. But um, yeah. So if you're buying them off me off YouTube, fifteen dollars right to the cash app. Uh, message me or I'll put the cash app in the description eventually or just comment down below if you want one if you made it to this point in the video and you want one send me 15 bucks I'll mail it out as soon as possible but yeah that's what we got going on here some sacrifice some steady hard work dealing with fucking problems dealing with fucking customers and man, like these last couple of weeks, like I've learned what customers to go after. You, you just can't say yes to every customer. You just fucking can't. Like there's so many people out here with a bunch of money that just want to take advantage of you. And it's fucking ridiculous. Like they have millions of dollars in the bank and they're still looking for the cheapest way possible. Don't fucking let that shit happen to you, man. Um, once you get that vibe from a customer that there could be a problem here, like, just get the fuck out of here and, like, either take the day off or just keep plugging away to the next job because bad customers like that are not worth it at all. You're gonna, like, barely break even and make a couple dollars versus if you just take the day off and plan and coordinate the next step that's logical be doing a lot better for yourself some of these customers are just so fucking anal and fucking watch you and shit like nah i ain't gonna like from here on out i'm pretty much gonna tell all my customers like hey if you want to watch this it's gonna be like an extra 500 dollars for the day because when my guys are watched they perform way less good like like just like night and day difference which like, if somebody's watching me while I work, I tell them, I'm like, hey, don't fucking watch me. I'll leave right now. Like, don't fucking watch me. Like, fuck that. I'm good. That's just like when I'm at the gym. When somebody starts watching me, I'm like, get the fuck out of here, fucking homo. You know what I mean? Like, like, is there a fucking problem while you're watching me? Like, take a picture while you're at it. You know what I mean? Why don't you just record a fucking video? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, nobody needs to get watched in this life, man. I don't watch nobody else. You know, I'll check out some females. But that's about it. Uh, your boy's been getting the fucking craving to fucking travel, man. Like, like a motherfucker. Like, I'm seeing this Florida play right now. Florida isn't the spot to go to right now. Because it's fucking hot as shit out. But, um... Boy's been wanting to hit up San Diego hardcore. But... The thing about this business that's so good for me, like, in the past, I've been wanting to just to get up and leave somewhere and go, 
but like this thing about this business, it's keeping me grounded, man. Like 120% keeping me fucking grounded. Like I don't even want to do shit no more. Like in, in a good way, in a good way. Like I, I really want to go to San Diego, but I don't want to miss a week of work because I can afford to miss a week of work. Like I can afford not to get paid for a week easily, but I can't afford to not employ my guys for a week that's like i'm doing it for them like i'm not doing it for me anymore it's a fucking special feeling man like the amount of motivation i have now is fucking never had before because i've never employed people full time but like i feel like once you employ somebody or employ two people like you feel way more fucking responsible like like you have to do this you know what i mean that's what i feel like which is good, man. It's good for somebody like me who likes to travel and fucking explore because it kind of takes it out of me. But, um, you know, the traveling and exploring will have to wait till uh, Christmas time where I think me and Rachel are probably going to go to Mexico. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where we're going. Maybe fucking fly into San Diego, rent a fucking car, dip the border, or take a bus over the border rent a car over there and yeah that's it boys that's fucking it all right i'm pulling into the crib now keep your head up and keep plugging away if you're tired take a fucking nap if you're tired every day because your job sucks get a new fucking job all right um and if you're a videographer or somebody that's interested in videographing my life i'm hiring a videographer uh, getting a MacBook and a Sony SV-1 very soon. So whoever wants to jump on that job, get out here and fucking start filming me and we'll get rich. 120%. My life is way too interesting not to be fucking uh, monetized and making a bunch of money off. That's how I feel. So with that, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Peace.